We're down to 17, 16,000 citizens. This one is a disaster that really needs to be fixed quickly. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the next episode of Fix Your City with me, Biffa, here in City Skylines. This is the city of Lordopolis. Thank you very much for submitting this for me to take a look at. And we're going to use this city as an example of three beginner's mistakes that can break a city. And along the way of looking at those three things, we're going to fix up this city as well. So this city isn't perfect. It's not somebody I would imagine that's played the game for thousands and thousands of hours. They like to have fun. They try lots of different things out as well in the city, which is great. This is quite synonymous of a lot of the cities that I get sent into to fix. So why don't we dive into our three things by starting off with of course number one so number one is a lack of services and i would include parks in that as well so let's just take a look at this city now this city hasn't been running very long uh, i did a test on this earlier and the longer the city ran for the more the people complain so we might see that in a few minutes but let's just look at our services now on the face of it you might sort of think Click on our healthcare. There's good healthcare coverage around a lot of the areas. Look, you've got them all over the place. All the colours are the right shade of blue. The average health is, is quite low, though. Uh, death care. We'll take a look at that one. Again, reasonable coverage. Not over this way. I think you've only just started building this area over here by the look of it. Um, fire. Fire is pretty low. So there we go. So you've got the, the twofold problems that you can have. So the first problem you can get is obviously fires so if there's not enough fire coverage it will take they go look all the problems are starting to pop up and they're complaining uh, fire trucks can take longer to get to a problem to put the fire out um, you'll also get complaints like this low land value so we'll come back to that with our parks in a minute which i'm including in this and also each building would like access to services to level up now i believe you use the demand mods um, to build up this city which is why everything has got level five but as the game goes on that's going to decrease unless we do something about it and here we go two few services so this is what people are complaining about and if we have a look now that is a complaint over large swathes of your city but let's just take this little section here as we saw before it's got health care it's got death care it's got you know pretty reasonable fire coverage and it's got police coverage so what is it they're complaining about well there's two things the other services could be transport um there is i believe the only transport you have in your city is buses there is nothing else at all you put a metro in by the look of it but it's not doesn't have a line set up on there and parks is the worst one so you have some unique buildings dotted around that are showing up in purple no parks and plazas anywhere now even if you have the base game you will have and nothing else no dlcs or anything you will have access to parks and plazas uh, no park areas no public libraries actually i'll tell a lie you've got the odd public library in there uh, sports arenas none at all so i'm thinking with some judicious sprinkling of some parks around here we can cheer these people up could you have a look at the land value it is distinctly average so let's just take a look at this mostly blue few little spots of green but mostly blue so let's just see if we can make a change with some of our services Now, while I'm going around fixing this, we can see we've got a huge problem. We started off with a population of, I think it was around 85,000. We're now down. We're losing 29,000 a week. So your city was only being propped up by, it must have been a demand mod or something like that. And the lack of services is killing the city. So, yeah, I'm going around, popping in a little selection of all these different parks and plazas and things like that i am taking out some buildings here and there so we can get some nice coverage but you know that's the way it's got to be and then once i've done that if we just speed the game up a bit we can see that they suddenly start having an effect 
So once I've done that everywhere, I'll be back to show you how it's going. Right, so a lot of parks have been added. Um, we're down to 17, 16,000 citizens. This one is a disaster that really needs to be fixed quickly. So our park area overall, our land value, let's have a look. Still huge sections of blue but for instance in here there's nobody living here but if you look at like an area like this now you can see it's heading towards the light blue and green around here which is good lots of people live in there lots more green in here so i would say with the amount of parks that we've put down that that is covered pretty well there's a few little red spots but it's not anywhere near as bad as it was like for instance here we can just pop another park in help that one so now let's look at the mass transit for this area and as we said you do have uh, some metro here i just want to check this out so it goes up around the top round under here round in the loop i mean that's you know that's perfectly adequate i maybe would have put those sort of in the middle rather than all the way around the outside but you know beggars can't be choosers so let me put a couple of loops in here we'll have a clockwise and a counterclockwise one Okay, there we go that's going to end up with three vehicles on each so that's going to cover that area nicely what else have you got you've got a big loop that goes around there and that's an underground tunnel and i think that's it so let me do the same on here as well we go so that's the other two put in these here looks like we're going to get three vehicles on each of those as well excellent so that is definitely going to help now while that's slowly running in the background and hopefully the people are getting happier we're just going to check out another couple of things in here so your tax rates are okay i mean you can charge more at the minute i really wouldn't um let's just have a look at everything else you've got down here so power electricity you've got those low trash services yeah, you've got that okay, so you've got plenty for that. Ah, look, this is probably... You try to balance these out, which affects their effectiveness in the city. So I tend to not... I can... I'll tell you what, let's leave this one here and look at this one. So you've done the... That's the police one, isn't it? Where's the police one on here? I feel like I'm being blind. There we go. So you probably looked at this and seen there's not many criminals. You've got a huge jail capacity and crime late crime rate i should say is extremely low so then you've knocked these down well that's okay but then that also affects from my understanding um their area of effect in the city um also the nighttime and the daytime budgets i don't think they really make any difference at all i've not seen it myself please tell me if i'm wrong but you can't just put your school budget down like this at night time um, because you think kids don't go to school at night because it doesn't really work like that that's not shown in the amount of people that go to school but that will affect your um, area of effect of these items and again your parks we put in all those parks and now maybe we can see why they're causing problems and these as well and you've got so much money you really don't need to drop these down so i'm going to put those up uh, also your bus lines let's put all of these at 100 i'm going to do 101 percent and I, you might know this little teeny tiny trick is that obviously 100 percent is 100 <laughs> percent you just learned something 101 percent i mean it doesn't look at the difference in price you know it doesn't really cost anything difference in price but it gives you that extra one little vehicle that is going to go out. So let me just adjust all of these. So just that difference of putting the budget back. Now look at all the blue houses from our parks and plazas. Everybody's got high entertainment factor, which is great. Um, has that affected the land value much? Yeah, look, we're starting to get some green in the, a few spots. Oh, and look at that. We have got green everywhere in the main part of the city. So again, it comes down to understanding the game mechanics, which can really, really help the game. We are losing so much population. <laughs> the global happiness in our city is just absolutely horrendous. Pollution, 
you've got some dabs and dabs of pollution, but that actually, if I put this one on and then go to pollution, there we go, is only where your industry is. And it's not leaking over really into any residential areas. So that wouldn't be too bad for me. So what I'm going to have to, maybe this little bit here is a little bit close. I'm going to take that one away. It's a little tiny one. So yeah, let's run this for a little bit. Let's see how much of a difference that can make wow of putting in more services and i'm wondering as well whether because we've only got two bus routes haven't we so let's just see where they are okay just hovering over this bus route here as you can see it is a complete mess um i'm just gonna delete your two bus routes and i am going to completely redo your bus routes so what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and set the bus routes up that go to other areas of larger transportation like your metro and also keep in mind anything people want to visit so the parks the schools those sort of things any buildings of interest that you have that is where people want to be traveling so trying to take those in as well but let me just place down this one bus stop and watch what happens uh, maybe i have to complete the line there we go and people start getting happy so that is what you want to see is happy people in your cities oh while i'm just setting those up what i also wanted to do was have some way for people to get from this loop of metro to this loop of metro the two loops we've put in so if we have a look at this one here it's not too far away i reckon if we put a walking path across here people are going to absolutely love that so let's just see if we can get across here with little to no problem there we go now they can come out the other side and walk down to our metro there and i bet very shortly we'd see people taking that quite uh, quick route to get onto the other metro loop and i've also added in one more metro loop so we're at the southern end of the city that goes clockwise and counterclockwise here and this stop here is quite close to this stop here so we can get out and walk and get into this one to get into the middle loop right so i've just unpaused the game our global happiness has gone up and we've stopped hemorrhaging people <laughs> we're, we're growing again we're going up to eight thousand. got a lot of buildings that need to be replaced let's have a look over here so commercial office and industrial happiness much higher residential happiness not so much and that will be down to uh, all of these buildings like this so another mod that you had installed which i haven't installed and there's a reason for that is the automatic bulldoze mod and the reason i don't have that in is because it can hide issues that you don't realize you've got hopefully i'm not deleting the wrong buildings uh, but any buildings that have been abandoned uh, people are not going to like that in your area but there's a reason they're being abandoned so you want to know when buildings are being abandoned so you can do something about it i'm sure i'm accidentally deleting some buildings here i shouldn't be i'm doing it super quick um so sorry if i am but yeah if these were all getting automatically deleted i wouldn't know that the problem was low land value and all the other things that we've been speaking about um, so whereas it might save you from the, everybody being unhappy because there's all these abandoned buildings around, it doesn't help you to learn how the game works and to get better. So yeah, definitely I would try and play without that if you can. And if I just remove all of these, the more I remove, let's see whether we can see that difference yet. Look at that, Resid residential happiness is shooting up. Excellent. And these will grow back as our demand increases as well also worth noting the game will remove these themselves i believe after a short period of time but the period of time isn't so short that people won't get unhappy about it so <laughs> yeah you don't necessarily need the auto bulldoze mod the game will do it but yeah as you can see, there's a lot here. And the more I remove, you keep seeing these little happiness signs popping up. The happier people are getting. I mean, who'd want to live next to a load of derelict buildings like that? I know I certainly wouldn't want to. Oh, auto save. Quit sip of tea. Let me finish this off. Look at that. Up to almost 16,000. Fantastic. So here's a good example. This whole neighborhood has died. Nobody is wanting to live here anymore. The land value is very sort of mid low it's going white not very good at all so let's just remove oh look, there's one house who's still in here oh that was so close nearly deleted it. let's remove all the other houses that are derelict and then we'll uh yeah see how that affects the land value
there we go. Definitely heading back towards blue. This has turned green up here and people are starting to move in. Uh, what have we got service-wise over here? No healthcare. Tut, tut, tut. No fire. Tut, tut, tut. No police. Oh my goodness me. Any schools? No schools. And buses. Do you know what? Uh, let's grab this one here. We're going to bring a bus into here to pick people up. There we go. Excellent. And we've got a park. So the land value in here now is heading towards the green, which is exactly what we want. And once we get some more demand, then our city will start growing again. So we're having to sort of basically rebalance this entire city. So we've got a lot of commercial, which is going to be complaining about not enough workers. So man alive, this is... Wow, this is like a huge fix-it problem. So what I'm going to do now as well is put all of these up to 12%. That is pretty much the maximum you can charge. And you'll get away with that as long as you have good land value and good services and all that sort of thing. I notice you're not making any money from parks. So let's just have a quick look at the policies that you've got. So education boost, prioritize education over working. Uh, you've got that on your entire city. That is a bad idea. Uh, we'll leave that one like it is. Tax raise, no. Tax relief, no. We're going to just turn all of these off and start from a, a level slate. Uh, we're going to turn that one off. That's going to cost us money as well. Increase police budgets. Yeah, let's just turn them all off. These are okay. We'll go for these. I uh, don't want high-tech housing on. We're also going to do encourage biking everywhere, which is good. So that's always worth doing. I don't think it costs us anything. No, it doesn't. And themes, no problem. So let's go with that because we're losing so much money, but we've got a lot. So eventually, as things start building up, we'll be okay. Uh, city attractiveness, pretty low. So what I don't want to do, so what, what I should do, is go through and just remove a load of zones. I mean, this is just all dead, all of this in here. But some people are starting to move back in. But like your commercial, your ones that are saying, oh, we haven't got enough workers, because eventually they will get enough workers. So not enough customers. That will happen as the city grows again, which it's doing. Look, you can see it down here. So that is fantastic. So we've really covered point one and point two. Point one was lack of services and parks. Point two was no transport options so we've started to look at those i have been adding more bus routes i have been adding more metro number three is particularly if you're playing in modded but also if you're playing in vanilla a big mistake is not understanding your mods if you have them and not understanding game mechanics that's applying to vanilla or modded playing so the game mechanics i particularly wanted to focus on were those that relate to traffic and the way people want to get around your city. Now, you've actually done something very good in the city, um, which I'd like to point out, because, you know, we have mentioned a few negative things. You've spread out your industry. So you've got industry over here, little dots and pieces here and there. You've got lots of offices as well. So for a city that was, you know, it's approaching 100,000, it was 85,000, wasn't it? Something like that. That is good. You've spread those out. So that means, for instance, all the residential people here only had to travel to there to work, which is good, or over here. Uh, if these wanted goods to be shipped out to the commercial, you've got little commercial spots dotted around. Probably, well, definitely at the moment too much commercial, but we're growing again. But yeah, you've got a nice mix, and you've mixed it in a good way, so you don't have, as you've said before, your pollution isn't encroaching on your residential living areas. The other game mechanic to keep in mind, which you've done in some places, is the way people travel around a city. So if we take, for instance, this new area that you haven't built in yet, uh, you've got an air, you've got a nice access to the highway over here, which is good. Then all of this sort of connects through here, and you've got another access over here. Um, your road hierarchy, you've, you've sort of done it. Um, Let's just say over here, for instance, so you've got your arterial, your highway road going through, it comes off, goes on to six lane collectors, and then as you swing off of that down the side, you've gone down to a four lane, which you could sort of use as a as a bigger local road, that's fine, um, if you want to. Um, let's have a look. But then in a few places, you've sort of switched into a big collector here, which it wouldn't need to be. Um, this would still count as we want this one here, this one here, 
Make sure we don't put in a tunnel. Thank you very much. Put that back on the surface. There we go. So I would, for instance, have this one as one of these. So we're keeping your arterial straight through off of this roundabout. So this one down here. This one I wouldn't have as an arterial. Yes, yeah, so you've sort of got a bit, bit mixy and matchy uh, with it. So I'd certainly change that one back. Here's a good example. Yeah, you've gone from... Um, this collector coming through here to maybe a local road and then you've gone back to a collector up here and then back to a local road down there so yeah you need to sort of think about the way your roads are working i would certainly just have so the arterial for the highway your collector running through here to this roundabout to this big major roundabout then up and down off of this one to the other big major roundabouts and just keep that in every other road have as smaller roads so like you've done over here these are fine uh, these little four lane roads or as you've done over this side the even smaller ones as they come off here so for instance this here look got your collector coming through this roundabout here six lane road no problem no problem no problem you've then suddenly got it going up and down here i would maybe switch these ones out for these oh there we go yep game's catching up and then that again would hit this other nice big collector that comes down here. So lots of different road hierarchy things that probably definitely need switching around. So I'm probably just going to go through and do some of that. And then using this same area as an example, you've got your big collector coming down here, coming down here, swoops down to this section. You've got this one here that then these two connect. So you don't need to necessarily carry that on through here. This can be what we're now calling the local road but you would need to sort of set up some traffic lights and things here because you would have a lot of traffic or what i would perhaps do is continue this one straight and that could come over the river and do something like that but yeah you get the idea anyway. so if you're using mods uh, you really need to understand how your mods work now when this game came to me you, you're using traffic manager you have traffic despawning on so i've left it like that so far for the game uh, you've got 77% traffic. I think when I first loaded the save, it was around 60 odd. Um, I turned despawning off before I started recording just to see, and it got down to around 40 odd. So um, a lot of issues there, but we're going to leave it as you had it set up. Because for instance, this junction here, you've got two big collectors that are coming in and meeting in the middle. And then you've got these other little junctions that come off the side or these other little rows that come off the side to this big roundabout. So what you're trying to do here is where your highway comes through and this other road here connects around to the road just off your highway and this 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 here oh, let's just have a look so this is your highway going straight through so you seem to have sort of yeah so you've bought this off and gone back to a highway and then here you've gone down to a, a slow road and then gone off back up here so this I would have this junction the other way around. So you've got your highway going this way. It should be going that way instead. So maybe, and that would stop all of this in the middle. So maybe let's just change that. Okay, there we go the cars are going to sort themselves out so now those on the highway are going to go just straight through keep on going and if anybody wants to come off they can go down here and then also we can do another little thing on here a little bit of lane mathematics as we see three lanes coming up and you can do this on vanilla so we've got one lane going off if we change this to a two lane you get a dedicated turning lane which is fantastic so we're going to do that all the way to there and on the other side as well see this lane's being used for two things which in vanilla that is a bit of more of a problem than it is on modded if you're using traffic manager but anyway we'll change that down like that uh, and you can also do the same going through here so we've got uh, three lanes coming up and this outside one's going off there so instead of this being a six lane road on this side as well if we change that to uh, one of these let's go for this one 
There we go. You get a dedicated turning off lane. I actually want that one to sit on there. There we go. So we just adjust these and adjust that. There we go. Excellent. Dedicated turning off lane. All the other stuff works much better. And then the only things you might want to do, let's just have a look here. So we've got a roundabout option. If these came up this roundabout here and they wanted to go on the other side of the road, could they do that? No, because the way you've got this roundabout set up is people can only get onto it to get off onto different roads. A little bit odd. Okay, so normally at the end here, it would be a traffic light. Uh, let's just see what the game has added. The game has added traffic lights on the end here. So as you've got traffic manager, I would take those out and I would put in time traffic lights. Just control, left click, quick setup. If you knew a bit more about them, you could link these two together. But I think that will probably work okay. We just watch this little junction here for a sec. What you could do as well, now I'm thinking about it, is at the end here, because we are allowing left and right turn, is just make this end piece, uh, this one here. So now you've got two lanes. There we go. So you've got one lane for left, one lane for right. I would also do that for that one as well. Your time traffic lights will automatically update. And then use the lane connector where they come on. Bit of Hugo there for each of those. So they all get a lane where they want to go. Excellent. I would also stop lane switching along this road because they can pick their lane when they come through this junction and then stay in it and off they go. That's fine. That's fine. I would probably say... The rest of that is okay. So let's just see how this goes. There's a lot of people queuing down there. So if you go into your options, have you done this on your traffic manager? I haven't checked this yet. What have you got? Very high simulation accuracy. I would maybe put that down to medium or even high. Let's maybe put it on high. Then under gameplay, advanced vehicle AI. I normally put this up to about 70%. Uh, this here, I tend to leave it on Holy City Zero because I've been told that these don't make any difference. Uh, if anything, the code that's used for these could actually cause problems, but not in a good way where you're trying to cause traffic issues, just in a bad way, and it can cause problems with Traffic Manager. So we turn that off and turn that one off. And yeah, we'll leave it like that. Yeah, and just looking at this roundabout down here, I can see what you're trying to do, and I perhaps would be loath to just put this as a ground-based roundabout, but to be honest, with the amount of traffic that's coming through here, I think that would just work so much better. So I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to just remove these from in here, because basically the only way you can get to these outside roads is by going up there and down there. So it almost seems like you might... You don't need the roundabout at all. But anyway, then I'm going to use this tool in here and I'm going to actually change it to a roundabout. Uh, so it's this one here, arrange at circle mode. So we click that tool and then we just click round here on all the different nodes that there are. I think we can just go round in one way. Yeah, there we go, all the way round. Um, no, okay, it's making us select the other ones as well. And there we go. Excellent. And once it's done, we left click. We can select the size of the circle. I think as it is, is fine. Press enter. Yeah, there we go. We actually get a circle out of this now, which is good. Then what I'm going to do is actually delete any rows that are coming underneath here, like this. Excellent. I'm also going to delete these ones that connect onto here so we don't get any issues. Um, this is a massive... Is this like a two-lane road as well? I think it is, isn't it? No, 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 no. No, no, we don't want two lane roads. If anything, if you're going to have something like this big in your city, I would maybe just go for the highway road. And what I'm going to do is do this deliberately. Now I am setting it to ground mode. Let's turn that the other way. And then I'm going to lower this down so it actually touches the ground. And for that, we're going to use the Move It mod next. I think I've got all the nodes. Then Control H. Select a node that is the height that you want, and bish bash bosh, that is gone right down. So let's connect up all these other roads. Oh, and before I do that, um, let us actually brace this roundabout. Uh, we'll select our rural roads for that, and you just want to sort of go from one node on one side to a node on the other side. We'll do the same over here, just to keep this thing the shape that it is. Right, let's connect these side roads up.
There we go. Delete the bracing rows in the middle. Excellent. And then you want to set this roundabout up. So again, using your tools correctly, we'll go to our priority signs. The bottom one there, control, shift, and click. So control, shift, left click, and it will go from this to this. So now you've got no lane switching at nodes, only lane switching at intersection. And we've got giveaway signs coming in. And that is pretty much everything you need. And you've got dedicated turn lanes for coming off. So now, if we unpause this and let this run, once all the cars have worked out where they're going, that should hum along nicely. So now we know this roundabout's working correctly, we can now make a good decision with regards to all of this traffic here. A lot of this wants to turn that way. It's cutting across the traffic like that. It's taking ages to get out. So we can say, fair enough, we're not going to let you do that. We can still leave the two lanes there, but we're going to go like this and say, right turn only. So when those traffic lights change, you will go down here, go around the roundabout and come back up again. And what we should see... Oh, if we come out of that view, is this sh should then run a lot quicker. I mean, we could even do away with the traffic lights, but I don't think we'll need to. Let's just watch this down here. A lot of people cutting across. There we go. Look, it's almost gone already. Bit of traffic here as that goes. But as usual with traffic problems, once you get it moving, it won't back up and cause other issues. There we go. Look, this is not backing up. This is just a little that little burst that's coming through there. That'll be gone in a moment. Yeah, there we go. It's only sort of backing up to here. That's fine. So yeah, that has solved that problem. And look at this horrendous looking roundabout over here. What is going on? Right, that road's going to change to this road and this road and that one there as well. Oh my goodness me. It makes me... Make, oh, I can't look at it anymore. We're going to use this tool. It didn't work. I <laughs> love it. Probably because we've got all these weird roads on here as well. So let's... No, hang on. Hang on. Let's try that again. Here we go. Got them in the end. Uh, let's just set this up. Control, shift, left click. Dedicated lanes. Giveaway signs. All the normal stuff. And that should hum along nicely as well. Just having a quick look at our public transport. Buses are being used well, which is fantastic. Metro being used really well. I am going to increase the amount of vehicles on these lines for sure, just to keep things humming along. But yeah, that is working really, really well. So this city just needs to run for a while. So 28,000, it's growing. The money that we're losing is going down and down, which is great. Uh, I think this is going to help if I add a load more vehicles onto these. So I'm going to go and have lunch. I will come back in a while and see how this has gone. Well, okie dokie. Here we go. This has been a long one. I've got to be honest. It's taken me flipping nearly all day. We're 87,000. We're making money between 40 and 50 a week. Traffic, 78%. Can't complain at that. We do have some... Uh, these symbols here mean lack of education. I just noticed uh, before I press record that you didn't have any of these across your city. Child health care centres. So the average health of children is going up. And also the elder care centres. So now the average health of your elders is going up. So that just sort of balances out the lifespan of the citizens in your city. So before that it was struggling to get everybody educated. We've got education everywhere. Now still need more elementary schools. Okay there we go. That's something you can do to add a little bit more to the city. But overall I'm really pleased with the way that's worked out. Oh good grief. That was a tough one. If you would like to get your city fix, then check out the link to submit that's in the description below. And then maybe check out the video that's on the screen right now if you enjoy traffic fixes. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Take care. Bye-bye.